Hi guys, today I'm here to chat about my favorite drugstore concealers, and I would never call myself a makeup snob. I spent many a, admittedly, Friday and Saturday night scouring the drugstore looking for new products. I freaking love drugstore makeup. But the thing is, with concealers, I'm very, very picky. And for a long time, drugstore concealers in terms of their color and formulation never really did it for me. I always felt the coverage was lacking and for me anyways when I have a concealer that is either the wrong shade or it doesn't give me enough coverage it just ends up making me look kind of gray under the eyes or they were all super pink and it just wasn't a good scene. But I feel like the drugstore has definitely stepped up their game so I'm going to be chatting about some of my absolute favorites comparable to high-end. I still do love my high-end concealers but these are some absolutely great drugstore options. Some are cruelty free as well. I will have them all listed down below along with my best shade match and I will have videos listed down below so you can actually see them in action if there's any uh, that kind of catch your eye because I will not be doing under eye demos for each of them so I will have videos linked down below but let's go ahead and get started. Let's start out with one of my favorites. This launched earlier this year and it is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer. I have a full demo including this and the foundation which I absolutely love. I will list it down below. This is definitely more on the full coverage side. It's more matte, but I wouldn't say it is super, super drying. I don't have issues with dry under eyes. If you do, this may not be creamy enough for you, but I haven't had any issues with it. I'll say right off the bat, none of these, in my opinion, are creaseless. If you have creases under your eyes, we cannot deny physics or gravity. Um, there are some that are going to crease more than others, so I don't really have much of an issue with that. I do have some fine lines under my eyes and it kind of it is what it is, but I really like this. There's also a huge shade range in this line, which is something that lacks in a lot of drugstore concealers. Is The shade range is always very, very bad, but this has a great shade range. So does the foundation. I love the two of them together. I love it on, on its own uh, and it's a really beautiful concealer. I used to love their HD concealer, um, but this one I really like. The HD one may be better if you have a little bit um, more of a dry under eye, and I also love the NYX Dark Circle Concealer. I did a Best Drugstore um, color corrector video as well, so I'll link to that down below. A concealer and foundation that really took me by surprise is from Revlon. I was not expecting to love the Candid Foundation as much as I did, and I really loved the concealer too. So this is the Revlon Antioxidant Concealer. Uh, I have the shade Medium Deep. I can't remember exactly how many shades come in this. I know the foundation itself had a decent number of shades. I can't remember for the concealer exactly. Uh, with the next one that I mentioned, you're getting a doe foot and a on this you're getting a doe foot esque style um, applicator there but this is a little bit more creamy than the NYX I still feel like it gives really really good coverage uh, and it does have the an antioxidants in there and I believe it's like anti-pollution anti-blue light as well as kind of the idea behind the line uh, but I gotta say I was really impressed with this one and it has a really nice creamy texture I wouldn't say it's as full as the NYX but it's definitely buildable like medium to full coverage I'm gonna call this drugstore because it is a drugstore price especially if you are American getting ColourPop shipped to you is quite easy. You're buying it in the American dollar. For Canadians, not as much, so I'm sorry, but if you do happen to be placing a ColourPop order, I absolutely love their concealer. I was really blown away by them. I thought they had a really good shade range, super full coverage, very long wearing, uh, and when they launched their liquid foundation, I was so pumped to try that, only to be incredibly disappointed that it was so bad so bad. Of course that's my personal opinion, but not good. The stick, however, I was blown away by, uh, and I really, really love this. A really good shade range in there. I believe it is just $6 American. Drugstore prices are definitely, definitely creeping up there, but at the same time, it's still like half the price, depending on where you're buying it, of a high end. So if you're getting a good product, and even though you are paying more, you some people still don't, you know, people are like, oh, that's half the price of a high end. But yes, yeah, somebody might only have $10 to spend on a concealer, not 20. So I think, of course, I don't want drugstore prices to go up anymore but uh, it's important to note that you, there are still so many good quality products at the drugstore. Keep an eye out for sales as well is something to keep in mind. And now that there's becoming more and more retailers, Ulta is coming to Canada late 2020, early 2021. That's all the details I have. I don't know anything else. Uh, I think we're gonna start to see a little bit more competitiveness between all the drugstores, which is very exciting to me. 
This next concealer I really really like, although I don't have a perfect shade in it, so it kind of got a dock points for that. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, and they've actually just launched a Super Stay concealer. I was kind of holding off to see if I could get my hands on that before I filmed this video, but I haven't tried it yet. I love the Super Stay foundation, the both the powder and the liquid. I don't love the stick that much, but this is the Dark Circle Eraser, and they did extend the shade range, although I still feel like the shade range needs work. I was wearing medium forever like back in the day. Now I have a golden here but I'm somewhere in between medium and golden. I do have a, however really like this if you do have a drier skin type, drier under eyes, if you want to get a darker shade as well it acts as a beautiful contour because it is so creamy, so blendable. The others that I've mentioned like the NYX and the ColourPop are definitely more on the matte side and if you are going to use those as contours you're going to need to work much faster but this something like this is much more forgiving. I like the little spongy top on there. I know it grosses some people off uh, gross to some people out you can rip that out so I would still like to see some more shades in here but I do like the formula it's definitely more on the light to medium coverage uh, it has a goji berry and haloxyl in there which are supposed to be hydrating for the skin but there's a fine line with lightweight or light coverage concealers in my opinion sometimes they just make up make, make my eyes look worse I'm like if there's just a, I'd rather have no coverage over like this weird tiny bit of coverage for some reason but this does a really good job uh, adding enough coverage and it is super double duty very very blendable as well or if you wanted to use this as a spot concealer with no foundation I think this would be really nice just to add a little little bit of coverage blend it out with your finger a sponge a brush uh, and I think it could do a great job for that as well these chunky Big old doe foot applicator concealers generally tend to be very great. I've got three to mention here. The first is from L'Oreal. Uh, this is their infallible full wear which launched with their fresh wear foundation of which I love. I love the counterparts to all of these so far. Actually the Maybelline Age Rewind, I don't think I've ever tried that foundation. But uh, I really love this. I wear it in the shade Latte. I did use it in a recent full face of L'Oreal which I will link to down below. Similar to the Maybelline, this acts as a great contour as well. Most concealers now are kind of touting themselves as contours too. Some are better than others depending on the formulation because some are hard to blend out and you dot it all over your face and you'll be blending all day to no avail. So <laughs> this does act as a great contour but it does set so I wouldn't again dot it all over your face. Just kind of work in sections but it isn't as matte as something like the NYX but you're still getting tons of coverage in here. A really good shade range. I think there's 24 or 25 shades in there and it does look to go quite fair and quite deep. I haven't seen the entire range uh, but I was really really impressed with this. Then one of the newer concealers to me, I have never, ever, 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 ever liked a CoverGirl concealer, which is funny because for a long time I loved, and I still do, but I loved CoverGirl foundations. I still love them, but they were always arranged that, like the Ready Set Gorgeous, Matte BB, True Blend, Outlast, they were all phenomenal. But for some reason the concealers were so watery poor shade ranges like they were bad so I was really excited when this stubby big old doe foot applicator came out it is the true blend undercover concealer the only thing is I was I'm wearing t100 well not right now I'm actually wearing none of these I did a full face of Canadian makeup so I'll link to that down below but I did uh, wear T100 plus M900, so I still feel like I don't have my perfect shade in this foundation. T100, I think, would be your best bet if you're looking to match, but if I wanted to add a little bit of brightness, I do go in with the M900. But similar to the L'Oreal, I would say, this is definitely on the fuller coverage side. Creamy, long wearing, not too matte, but definitely on the more matte side. It's kind of that same concealer formula everybody has been trying to master since the Shape Tape came out. So uh, the next one that I want to mention, and I know I'm kind of blowing through all of these, but there's a reason that I like all of these and there's only so much I can say uh, in terms of why I like it because I kind of like them all for generally the same reasons. When it comes to you picking a shade, uh, think about your price range. Are you shopping for cruelty free? Which one is going to have the best shade for you? Which one is available in the country that you live in? Because the reason I'm talking about these is because I love all of them. I don't really have a favorite. It kind of depends on the look I'm going for. I'm a beauty junkie, don't make me pick, okay? So um, the next one that I wanna mention, again, I do have to dock points because I do not have, 
I would say an absolutely perfect shade, but I still have a good shade. It is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. From the outside of this, it looked like it had a lot of shades in there and I was super pumped on it. But then when I went to go actually pick out my shade, I was like, oh, there's definitely some missing pieces in here. There's some big jumps in between shade ranges. So I'm wearing the shade Tan Sand. Again, you're getting that big old applicator in there, which I really, really like. If you're not a fan of big applicators, uh, in the concealer game now is not the time for you that's for sure it definitely is a huge trend but I really really like it and you don't need to put on a ton of it you can still kind of unload the brush if you feel like you're getting too much but I really like this I do find that it oxidized slightly so that kind of actually worked in my favor because it is quite bright under my eyes I definitely do like a brighter under eye but I did use this in my most recent full face of L so I will link to that down below if you want to see it in action I lied, I have another chunky uh, big old doe foot applicator. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, available in store at Ulta. If you are Canadian, you can order from the Ulta website. I've also ordered from the Makeup Revolution website or Tam Beauty and had a great experience. No customs, no weird shipping, uh, didn't take a long time. So if you're able to figure out your shade, I always recommend watching a bunch of YouTube videos. That's how I figure out my shade and looking up swatches, trying to find people who look like me basically. Um, so I really like this, again, full coverage, creamy, long wearing. I have swatched some of these in comparison to each other in other concealer videos, so anything that I can find, I will list down below. I still do need to re actually review the two Makeup Revolution concealers, but huge shade range in this, and I feel like they keep extending the shade range, which I think is just so freaking exciting. Makes it easier to find your shade. They've got like half shades, in between shades, and also, I don't know if it stands for the entire range, but I think they have like a super big one. That's like more or less like half the size of a foundation or something like that. If you happen to find a shade and you love the formula, uh, you can kind of get the Big Daddy concealer that has a ton of product in there. Uh, and I really like this. Again, this acts as a really good contour as well. So does the CoverGirl, but this one definitely um, is kind of made to be both a concealer and a contour. And I think because it has such a good shade range in there, you could definitely find a shade to both conceal, contour, highlight. Uh, I think there's also some corrector shades. Uh, I am not going to be mentioning the the LA Girl concealer. I feel like people love that so much for their under eyes. I don't know how much they're putting under their eyes. I like it, but I like it more as a contour than I do a concealer. It never really blew me away as an under eye concealer. So I will have it all listed down below. I hope it didn't feel like I blew through that, but I feel like I can talk so much in these roundup videos, but I really just kind of want to get it out there. A big list of my favorite drugstore concealers because you do not need to break the bank to find a good concealer or a good anything. The drugstore has good everything now. So just a matter of finding what works for you but thank you so much for watching let me know down below what your favorite drugstore concealers are and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane yt and i'll see you guys next time bye